Hello everyone, I'm Margie Amos with Minglewood Farm and Nature Preserve in Westfield, North Carolina. I'm excited to welcome you to our first Minglewood Mondays. I want to let everybody know, you don't have to have a farm, you don't have to have a garden, but you can grow some vegetables, flowers, and herbs on your own front porch. All you need is a container, be it ceramic or plastic, even a plastic five gallon bucket will work, as long as you put holes in the bottom of it so it properly drains all your excess water. So what we're going to do, first off, we're going to take my favorite lettuce, a butter crunch. I'm going to put that right up front here. This pot, you can get about three plants in because you want them to get large enough. And by crowding them, you'll end up getting some rotted leaves and such. You want to make sure you have enough space between your plants so there's enough air for them to get of the proper size. Red romaine. A pretty green leaf. That planter's ready to go. Now we're going to do some other spring vegetables. I have this new beautiful ruby bok choy. It's a new bok choy for us. We just think it's so pretty. Another one of our favorites this time of year, we grow a lot of rainbow chard. Karabi is a plant we've grown here at Minglewood for many years. It's a cross between a turnip and a cabbage. It's really sweet. It's delicious cooked or raw. And then the last things I want to put in this uh, vegetable garden will be uh, fennel bulbs. You could probably have another opportunity to plant these another time and have a second round of lettuce and spring vegetables. Not too long after that, hot weather's coming. It'll be time to convert these pots to tomatoes and squashes. You can put a bush bean or plant or two in there, but turn it on over to summer and hot crops. Your chard, your bok choy, your kohlrabi, and your fennel bulb. That'll be a great spring garden. And then for our last pot, we're going to plant some seeds. I'm going to plant some Easter egg radishes. I'm going to plant some carrots. And I'm going to plant some turnips. All these are seeds that will grow within 35 to 50 some days, depending on how big you want your carrots. Your carrots can grow as long as 75 days. So what I'm going to do is take the carrots and put them into the middle because they're going to stay in the pot the longest, okay? All your packets will give you proper directions on how deep to plant your seeds. And what you can do is they come up, thin them if it looks like they're getting a little thick, get you some baby carrots. Nothing wrong with treating yourself to a baby carrot or two to take them out and allow the other carrots to get larger. All right, so I have three rows of some carrots here. I'm going to leave these rows open so we can see where our carrots have been planted while we plant the rest of our crop. Next, I'm going to plant an Easter egg radish. Now I think I'll take these radishes and do them around one side. One side will be radishes, and the other side I'll put some small turnips. All these radish greens, the carrot greens, all that come out that you thin, Eat those greens. Don't throw them away, even if they don't have a little vegetable coming on them. And the last one we're going to plant is a Hakura tip turnip. It's a small white turnip. All right, let's cover these seeds back up gently. You don't want to have any seeds exposed. You want to put them a little blanket of dirt over them. Lots of seeds often need darkness to sprout. Well, another reason you have to cover your seeds. So I've covered all my three different varieties of seeds in here. I gently pat it down, not hard, but gently, and we're ready to go. I'll water these pots, and I've got a spring garden planted. I've got seeds of radishes, carrots, and turnips. I have a little spring garden of bok choys, fennel bulb, and Swiss chard, and then I've got my lettuce garden started also, which I think you could do a couple of more of those lettuce gardens, and you're going to be set. All without a farm, all without a garden. I look forward to seeing you again next week for another one of our Minglewood Mondays.